Hi, this is James Pickles, Fast and Safeti product owner. In this video, I'm going to explain how to adjust the resolution of the summary exceedance curves available in version 8.4 of Safeti. In previous versions of the software, you were able to produce detailed exceedance curves where you have the storage of detailed results turned on, which was the default setting in previous versions. One of the issues with that is that if for any reason you had to turn off the storage of detailed results, for example, if you have a very large study, then you were no longer able to produce exceedance curves. In this version of the software, if you turn off the storage of detailed results, which will be the new default setting, you will still be able to produce exceedance curves in the form of summary exceedance curves. These curves are available on the risk galleries. We have a standard risk gallery where you can access the summary exceedance curves and we have a detailed risk gallery where you can access the detailed exceedance curves amongst other detailed results. So the results on the detailed risk gallery are available only where you have the storage of detailed results turned on. In this particular study, I've turned on the storage of detailed results so that we can compare the detailed exceedance curve with the summary exceedance curve. You can see these on your screen. So the summary exceedance curve is at the bottom half of the screen and you can see that all the way up to 0.1 bar the summary exceedance curve uh, closely matches the detailed exceedance curve. But once you get beyond 0.1 bar, the curves differ somewhat. And the reason for this is that in the summary exceedance curve, we have to define a set of overpressure buckets, a set of overpressure values at which the exceedance frequency will be determined to generate the curve. Now, for this reason, we can see that once we go beyond 0.1 bar, the resolution of the curve um, isn't sufficient enough when you compare it with the detailed exceedance curve. So you can see that we have a point at 0.1 bar in the summary exceedance curve. And then the next point is all the way out to the maximum overpressure in this example, which is 0.18 bar. And between those two values of overpressure, there are no points um, on the summary exceedance curve. When you look at the detailed exceedance curve, you can see that even after 0.1 bar, there are still many points plotted, which gives much greater resolution in the detailed exceedance curve. Now, if you face this situation, there is a way that will allow you to increase the resolution in the summary exceedance curve. And you can do this by going to the settings tab and going to risk preferences, then go into the summary exceedance tab on the risk preferences. And you will see the definition of buckets for the radiation, overpressure and impulse exceedance curves. In this particular example, we're looking at the overpressure exceedance curves and therefore you can see in the explosion overpressure buckets, you can see that we have a bucket at 0.1 bar and then the next bucket is at 0.2 bar and there are no buckets in between those two points. Now in this example, the maximum overpressure is 0.18 bar. So we always plot a point at the maximum overpressure. So we have a point at 0.1 bar and then the final point is at 0.18 bar and there are no points between those two values of overpressure. But you can adjust these buckets if you wish. And what I've done here is within Microsoft Excel, I've copied the buckets from Safeti into Excel and then I've inserted some additional buckets between 0.1 bar and 0.2 bar. We now have nine additional buckets 
between those two points and that will give us greater resolution at the higher end of the overpressure within the curve. So once we've defined those buckets, you can copy them into Safeti. It's worth making a note of the number of buckets, in this case, 57. And then within the dialog in Safeti, we can change the number of buckets to 57. And then we can paste the new buckets into this table. And then you can see our new overpressure buckets within this list of buckets. So once we've done that, we can OK on the dialog and then run the calculations again to compare the new summary exceedance curve with the detailed exceedance curve. So now that those calculations have run, we can go ahead and produce the new summary exceedance curve. And we can see this curve in the bottom half of the screen. We can now see our new overpressure buckets between 0.1 bar and the maximum overpressure of 0.18 bar. So that gives us much greater resolution at this end of the curve. And we can see that when we compare that to the detailed exceedance curve, we can now see that it matches it much more closely than what it did with our previous set of buckets. So thank you for listening. And if you'd like to ask any questions or get in touch, please email digital at dmvgl.com.